Hi again! Welcome back to Chasing Paradigms. Today we are headed into the Swanomish Channel to stop for the night in Laconor before we finish our trip to Everett. I need to mention though, because this was our first time motor sailing this particular boat, we didn't film everything. <laughs> See it up there? We'll be taking a left pretty soon and heading into Laconor. It's slower than we were expecting, but we are not in a hurry. Here are some facts about this water channel. The Swinomish Channel was completed in 1937. It was dredged by the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. It spans 11 miles. No sailing allowed, only motoring. It is re-dredged about every three years and it connects Skagit Bay with Padilla Bay. It is dredged to a negative 12 feet mean lower low water or MLLW. So you really have to follow those markers. Our Ericsson has a draft of five feet. And in this particular video, we are only going to sail to La Conner, And then the next day, which you'll see on the next video, we are going to finish the rest of the channel onto our last leg of the trip to Everett. We are now going under what is called State Route 20, or some people know it as the North Cascades Highway. And this channel, along with Deception Pass, is what makes Fidalgo an island, which has a city of Anacortes on it. This highway, Highway 20, spans 436.1 miles in Washington State, and it's known as the most beautiful highway in our state. We made our kids a little bit nervous because we were like, oh no, are we going to fit under the bridge? But they're our kids. We can give them a hard time. to the corner. Here we are. We're at the guest dock. We opted to tie up on the outside of the guest dock, so it was a tad rocky. But no one goes through the channel at night, and at night the water was glass. Okay, can you see what we are doing off the starboard bow of the boat? So when we left Bellingham, we had been towing the dinghy and then we midway before La Conner, we put the dinghy up on the dinghy David 
And then when we were in Laconner, we thought we'd finish our trip to Everett with the dinghy on the bow of the boat. So we actually have an extra halyard. And this is when we are learning that we probably are going to go through this sailboat and replace, if not all, of the lines, the working lines on the boat. The stanchion, the stays, and the lifelines are all in great shape. And it's actually got newer sails. Um, but this is what you find out when you become a new boat owner. You're like, what do we need to do? Um, what do we don't need to do for the boat? But this was really hard work because we don't have a winch. And so there goes another thing to our list. When we wake Hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done Oh, the good times just begun Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right With you and I, the future is bright our boat yeah she's down there so after we got everything all secured on the boat we went into La Connor and ate at our favorite restaurant and then we let the kids run around before coming back to our boat
small payment will reap great benefits if you listen to these words of wisdom from the all-knowing Zoltar. The best place to find a helping hand is at the end of your arm. Yes, you must work for happiness. So go on, take your two hands, get some money out of your pocket, and let Zoltar tell you more. So this is nightfall in La Connor, and you can see the water is just glass. The bridge up ahead, that is called the Rainbow Bridge, which we will be passing in the morning for our adventure to Everett. All right, this is it. This is the next day, the last day of our journey to Everett. We are passing under the Rainbow Bridge. Give us a subscribe so you don't miss the last and final episode of this series of our adventure from Bellingham to Everett. <laughs>